I sort of um, you know graduated from school, um, went to university. I actually studied to be an architect. Um, uh, when I completed my studies, I worked for a local architect firm here in Australia. Um, and um, I was very fortunate enough in that uh, very quickly after I started working there, there was an opportunity to go and work for uh, their sister company in the UK, Square. So I spent a little bit of time working there and uh, I was probably there for about sort of, uh, uh, you know, two years before I decided to pack up and, and come back home. Um, so, so God, okay. I was researching on you and uh, on the company and everything, but apart from the obvious, I couldn't really find much more. Probably, I didn't research well enough. Uh, to tell you the truth, I'm actually quite a private person. Um, uh, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I'm, I, you know, for me, um, I guess the, the the success that I've had uh, with with BC New and and the business that we sort of started up is a, is, is a success that you know I, I hold very near and dear to my heart. I sort of you know decided to start up this business um, and, and go into sort of fashion and retail, um, much to the disgust of my friends and my family. Um, partly because you know fashion is very competitive, it's very cutthroat, um, it's a sink or swim situation. But I guess I also approached it from a very different perspective, and I wasn't sort of constrained by sort of traditional sort of thinking, and sort of really came into this um, with a fresh set of eyes and uh, thought, you know what, you're never going to know, uh, you, you know, whether or not you can succeed unless you actually, you know, put. You know, 150% into something and give it a go. And um, I, I guess for me, um, you know, going back to your question about being uh, sort of, you know, um, you know, uh, about uh, why why can't why isn't there a lot of information out there about me? Um, it's, it is because I'm a bit of a private person, and and, and my, my desire to go into this field is purely on the basis of wanting to do something for myself and wanting to inspire other people, um, you know. And and I think that that's really the sort of the essence of uh, why. I created BC New, and um, and 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 why we are uh, who we are. Have you, have you done any sort of like training in terms of um, um, design um, or clothes design, or? <laughs> That's a very good question and it's something that I get asked all the time and, and the short answer to that is no. However, um, my response to people is, as an architect, when you're designing a building, it's about form and function. Launch. We're adding to our, 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 um, our collection by launching our first swimwear range. Um, we, yeah, one. which is very exciting. <laughs> um, and um, we we brought in some talent um, from overseas. We had a uh, a fashion designer that worked with uh, BC New who uh, spent ten years working in New York for Tommy Hilfiger. Well, what can um, you uh, like point out as your um, secret? Okay. I think a lot of people, um, you know, think, and I, know, and I was probably one of those people, that starting your own business is very easy. Um, when you listen to people uh, talk about, uh, you know, their experience of starting a business, um, sometimes it's not as glossy as it may sort of seem. Um, there's a lot of hard work, a lot of uh, sweat and tears that you have to put into it. And I, I guess the thing, um, you know, for me is you, you really need to be um, relentless um, and just never um, give up. I've just bought um, my second piece of you um, <laughs> the other night uh, because I was looking at your new, I was actually researching on you and then I got lost on this shopping bit. So I, I uh, started shopping <laughs> and, and I finished with that. Excellent. And so when are the uh, swimming trunks coming out? <laughs> Okay, well, our first swimwear collection will launch um, late March, um, so just in time for the European and North American sort of summers, um, and we're pretty excited and pretty pumped, um, oh, uh, you know, for these people who, there's not about, you know, gym bunnies or, you know, serious um, people that, you know, train quite hard for the gym. It's a lifestyle brand. And, um, you know, in, in the brand name, we, we, we refer to ourselves as BC New Utility Wear. And I don't know if you know much about utility wear, but um, utility wear is, uh, is anything which is functional, is versatile. I yep. see behind you, like, someone that we, we, we know quite well. Um, who's that? Like, behind, yeah, 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 just behind your head. <laughs> We are here in the Ross Bay in Sydney. When BCNU contacted me first time, I was like checking all the stuff in the internet and I 
fell in love immediately with the clothes that they're making and uh, I'm very happy and proud to be the presenter of VCNU and be here in Sydney. We launched uh, last year a limited edition collection which was be seen you by I'm Eric in love Cohen, with these shorts, um, I'm in love with the, the tank tops. And, um, look, he's a wonderful guy, um, you know, he's an entrepreneur himself, um, you know, he's also an inspiration to a lot of young people um, who, um, you know, who, who are sort of, you know, want to get out there and, and, and do something and, and give it a go. So um, for us, it's it's the ideal partnership and it's the ideal marriage. Uh, some people, uh, you know, uh, yeah, uh, you know, are naturally talented and they, they can sing, they can dance, they can DJ, they can, you know, there's, there's so many different things. I think the, the, the trick to it is never be scared to, um, you know, get your feet wet and just get in there and just do something, you know, um, even if you're, you, if, if it frightens you, um, you're never going to know unless you actually, you know, give it a try. So, um, yeah, I, I, I explore, don't give up, and uh, um, and and try try it out because if you don't try it, you you will never know. Um, that's, of course, uh, that's that's what it is. But uh, thank you so much, Paul Zak. Be seeing you. You're welcome. Thank you very much, Anton, and good to meet you. Uh